off the bus! The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. Thanks. But, like any story worth telling, it's all about a girl. Not that girl. Hey, I hi. don't think that is a girl. No, it's about this girl, Jill Johnson. Ever since I can remember, I've been in love with her. But she barely knows I exist. Yo, Rick! Yo! Come here, man! I got your seat down here! What's up? I call y'all back. back. Everybody, bye. What's up, man? Hey, Trey. Dude, I'm so psyched for this class trip. Like, we about to see some real serious cutting edge shit. Mm-hmm. Mm mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, you got any seat batteries on you? Double A's? I got that new sandwich for Sony in my backpack. Wi-Fi. Mm. Yo, you gotta forget about her, dog. Look, look, let me show you something. She's not even looking at you. If I could just tell her how I feel. I... Dude, Rick, I already told you, you never gonna get with Jill, all right? Seriously, she hangs out with the popular crew, and nobody messes around outside that group, man. Come on, that crew stuff isn't real. The hell it ain't. Look around, Rick. Look, you got your jocks, nerds, emos, photos, the Scarface Society, the sexual predators. Mm. Of course you got the Rick Punchers. The who? Oh! Yeah, they knew. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Who cares? Because we got our own crew. Me and you. Thanks, Trey. Well, you're the best, man. Oh. Am I in? No. Come on. Hey, it's me and you, baby. Two of us against the world, you hear me? You look good today. I like your hair. I'm going to show you something nasty I downloaded. Don't tell nobody. Welcome to Amalgamated. I'm Dr. Strom, head of the research department, Come on, where man. we create the future today. And now I'd like to show you our crown jewel, the Amalgamated Animal Genetics Lab. Go ahead, explore. Yo, yo, come on, Rick, man, check this out. All of our animals are genetically engineered, and each of them has a Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, hi, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she is. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of her for, for the school newspaper. Our only rules, don't feed the animals. And please, no flash photography. Some of our genetically engineered animals are a little sensitive to light. It flew away. What the F, loser? Get him, Lance. Come on, Lance. Leave him alone. I don't think so. Is there a problem, Lance? No. No problem, Uncle Lou. Uh, Mr. Landers. Students, this is Lou Landers, visionary scientist and CEO of Amalgamated. Well, I'm just a businessman now. The future of science belongs to all of you. Please, enjoy the tour. Are you okay? Yes, this is healthy golf blood. Rick Riker, you're not Blaine and Julia Riker's son, are you? I am. Ah, good people. How are they? They died violently nine years ago. But otherwise okay? Yes, thank you. I live with my aunt and uncle now. Well, you seem like a real chip off the old block. Let's hope you're not violently murdered too. <laughs> That's for making me look stupid. Next time, I hurt you. <laughs> Our work with these animals has helped us develop new antibiotics, advanced pesticides, and a powerful new pheromone which drives animals to mate called Compound H209. It's a strong sexual attractant. A single drop is enough to arouse yeah. any animal. We plan on using it to breed endangered species. Sexual and indeed often overlooked. But our most promising research 
is with these dragonflies. For example, this dragonfly skin has a hard armor-like exoskeleton to defend against hooks. And this species of dragonfly has enormous strength for its size. And this vast amount grows into its body. And here, we've injected the DNA from all three species into seven new genetically enhanced super dragonflies. But there's only six in there. Well, one missing dragonfly is the least of my concerns. I lost six tigers along the last month. <laughs> this area is where we keep our livestock. <laughs> Do something? As soon as I get this up on YouTube. I see. Yeah. Well, yes, I understand. Thank you for the call. That was the principal. Rick walked off a class trip. Oh, after all the parenting you've done, he's still so troubled. Why do you think that is, Albert? I have no idea, Lucille. I've taught him everything I know about being a man. And a good man you are, <laughs> after all these years of marriage. It's like we first met. Sure, you're a little older. Your hair's gray. You have crow's feet. <laughs> it takes you an hour to pee. Your thighs look like cottage cheese someone threw up on a hot sidewalk. And you've always had a tiny penis. <laughs> well... <laughs> What does it matter when you're in love? <laughs> oh, Rick! We were wondering where you were. It's so late. About time you got home, your aunt was getting worried. You can sleep late in the morning, but don't forget to feed the fish. boy. I don't know. Something just doesn't seem quite right with him today. Teenagers, I'll talk to him. Rough day, huh? Well, I won't lie to you. Purity is a difficult time in a young man's life. Now, uh, this book may explain what's happening. Let's see. The mood swings, fluid retention, and once a month you'll bleed from your vagina. This may be the wrong book. What's important is that you're on the verge of adulthood. Um, here, take a drink. Ah, the rituals of manhood. Today you have your first beer, and tomorrow we'll circumcise you. I'm losing patience, Dr. Strom. Oh, please, sir, if you could just wait a few minutes. I've waited long enough for this egomaniac. We're the board of directors. Our time is valuable. Not as valuable as mine, Mr. Carlson. You see, I have a terminal illness. I've been fighting it for years. But the disease has ravaged my organs. As of this moment, I have one hour left to live. It was on sale. Gentlemen, if you're ready, allow me to show you the future. Strong. From the, from the, lift it over, lift it over. What the hell is that? An innovation. I think it will not only save my life, but the life of this company. For too long, we scraped our profits from pills and injections. But the real prize is the total cure. A device that can alter DNA and restore the body to perfect health. You're crazy. No, crazy is hearing voices, talking to cats, dating Paula Abdul. I'm not crazy. I'm a visionary. Sir. Sir, the machine's never been fully tested. If something should go wrong... Start it! The machine! <laughs> Plasma level steady. Genetic modifications at optimal levels. So the core is overheating. We have to abort. Ah! 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 
Did it work? I'm so sorry. Well, well, well. I want you to know what a joy it will be running this company without you in the way. Let go. Let me go. Ah! Ah! Gentlemen, I think it's time we made some personnel changes. Oh, how long was I asleep? Five days. <laughs> you live forever. If I can have your attention, we are delighted to have, as guest judge, the foremost scientist in the world. He's a visiting professor at Empire City University, where he's working with the rare element ceruleum. I am so proud to welcome Dr. Stephen Hawking. Thank you for that warm welcome. I have a disease that has paralyzed me. I cannot walk, and I use this computer to speak. But I am not depressed, because I have the gift of knowledge. That's a lie. I think about suicide every day. But you should all be happy with your lives. You can walk, talk, wipe your own asses, and then there's all the sex. I haven't had sex in years. 
My nurse is a lesbian, and not the hot kind. Hey, anyone wanna get high? I've got some hash with me. White guy in the dreads. You know what I'm talking about. Can I get a what what? Paula. I got a stiff pole for your sweet hole. Anyone? Anyone? Pussies. Dr. Hawking, I am such a fan. I'd love to show you my project on supernovas. You have an incredible ass. Astronomy career ahead of you. Wait, where's Saturn? I hate to lose my father's bowling ball. There it is. Great reflexes. You have very manly hands. So do you. I'm gonna go find a spot for my project. Yeah, okay. Watch where you're going in slow-mo, dipshit. <laughs> Go to her, stupid. Tell her how you feel. Save that old lady's life. Amazing. I, I guess if, if I hadn't pushed her out of the way, she would have died. <laughs> 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 you should be really proud of yourself. You're some kind of hero. You can excuse me. 
There we go. Oh. Awfully nice of you to help me out here, Trey. Oh, no problem. I'm waiting on Rick anyway, so. Oh. My God. How did you do that? Uh, it's easier than it looks. <gasps> no, I don't think so. <gasps> Why don't you tell me what's going on? <gasps> All right, well, well, there is something. Okay, but you have to keep it a secret. Uh, I think I have superpowers. I find that hard to believe. All right, all right, how about this? Go ahead and throw as many punches as you want. I bet you a hundred bucks you don't land one. Easy money. What else can you do? Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I was bitten by a dragonfly. Some dragonflies have armored skin. I... I wonder if my skin is... Ah! <laughs> well, good thing that worked. So you do have superpowers. We can be a team. We gonna get fame, money. Don't forget the bitches. There's not gonna be fame and there's not gonna be bitches. Okay, I didn't ask for any of this. I just want to be like everybody else. That isn't what your parents wanted for you. You're not my father. But I love you like your father did. I believe in you like your father did. I had sex with your mother just like your father did. You'll never understand me. Never. That isn't what your fans wanted for you. Fans wanted for you. Fans wanted for you. What a great performance. Well, Rick, did you enjoy the opera? Son? Something troubling you? It's so unfair. They have nothing. Why do we have two billion dollars? Well, your grandfather left us three billion dollars and I made some bad investments. But that's nothing for you to worry about. But I want to change things. And you will. Five generations of Rikers have worked hard to make this city great. One day, Rick, people will look to you to be a hero. When that day comes, will you be ready? Give me your wallet. <gasps> that too. No. People will look to you to be a hero. When that day comes, will you be ready? I'm dying. No! Oh, don't worry. My brother, Albert, will take you in. Rick, the money. It's all yours now. Sell all shares of a small company called Google. It's worthless. Invest heavily in Enron. Rick, I have something for you. Reach into my coat pocket. <laughs> the other coat pocket. That ring it was my father's and his father's before him. Earn it, Rick. Be a hero. Claim your... <laughs> Destiny. Dad! I'm no superhero. I'm nobody. Are you okay? What, you heard that? You're nothing but an ugly, ungrateful little whore! Just like your mother! Who was that? My mother. Listen, about what happened at school this morning. I... You really freaked us out. I'm really going through a tough time right now. Me too. Uh, my parents, they want me to go to college. But I want to be a dancer. I believe in you. 
You really do, don't you? I wish I could say the same for Lance. I don't know, is he the right one? Or am I just dating him to rebel against my father? He doesn't want any boy near me. That's why he installed the electrified fence. Well, we'll see. You can't run from your destiny. Right? Right. Jill, let's go. Nice car. Maybe one day you could take me for a ride in your car. Uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh. You love birds. Xavier. Your powers are growing, but you can't control it. It's important that you become a hero. Train yourself to fly. And your ass because squatting on a glass table. Two girls. One cup. You know what to do. Take long. Well, I'll be waiting right here. Hello, Mr. Bailey. I've reviewed your request for a loan, Mr. Riker, but with no job, no credit history, I'm afraid I have to say no. But what about this? That was last month. This new promotion is proving quite popular. Look, I need to buy a car. Frankly, Mr. Riker, you're the worst applicant we've ever had. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good boy. There must be something I can do. Ma'am, rubbing my crotch under the desk won't change my mind. I'm not rubbing your crotch. I really need that car. I don't see how that's my problem. Mr. Robin, nobody move! Everybody stay down! Stay down! Oh, get down! Come on, lady, you hurt me! Oh. Come on, move it! Let's go! Hey, you made the same mistake before when I came in. Thanks. You idiot! You let him get away with our money! I don't see how that's my problem. God, I, I thought something terrible had happened. Well, an old guy did get shot over there. Uncle Albert! Just uh, try to breathe. I, I, I can't. You're kneeling on my balls. Oh, sorry. Uh, Rick, listen. With great power comes... Great responsibility? I was going to stick with bitches, but if you want to be a virgin for the rest of your life, I'm virgin. Uncle Albert! My balls! Okay, I come back.
Jill? I came as soon as I heard. Where's Aunt Lucille? She's at home under heavy sedation. They made her watch three hours of women's basketball. This is all my fault. Rick, it was an armed robbery. There was nothing you could have done. I could have stopped that guy before he shot my uncle. And there is blood on your hands. But that's not important. All that matters is that you're here for him now. Rick Riker. Yes? Dr. Whidbey. I've uh, run some tests. I'm afraid I have bad news. What is it? I have an impacted colon. Whew, what a night. Now, what brought you here today? My uncle. Your uncle brought you? No, he, he's gravely injured. Well, he shouldn't be driving. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to perform a breast exam. Doctor, please. Is my uncle going to survive? Well, I don't know. We should probably have a look. Hard to say. Yep. Pretty deep coma. Is he going to be okay? Well, I'm not a betting man, but if you want to put some money on it, I'll take dead in a week. Oh, my God. Oh, no, look... it's all right. It's a normal emotional reaction, but this should take the edge off of it. Here we go. Nice and easy. That's your vein. Yes, I know. First my parents and now this. I'm nothing but a screw-up. Yes, your life has been a testament to that. But your uncle believed in you, and so do I. It's never too late to become the person you're meant to be. Rick. Rick. Hello, Rick. Who are you, and how do you know my name? I'm a psychic. Prove it. Think of any number between one and a million, and I'll tell you what it is. Nine. Not out loud, dumbass. <sighs> Follow me. Don't oh. son of a bitch. My name is Professor Xavier, and this is my school. I started it to help people with special talents like yours. Our students here learn to harness their incredible talents and use them to advance the common good. <laughs> here we have children who can walk through walls. We have children who think they can walk through walls. Some faces may be familiar, like Wolverine. Other mutants you probably didn't know existed, like Sneasel. <laughs> Most of our students are born with their powers. Some, like you, gain them later in life. What was that? Yes, it is. When he came to this school, he weighed 130 pounds. <gasps> Taking the Freud, you could do anything. Ah! Back up off those pills, Barry! Why have you brought me here? Because you have the potential to be the best. But I can't even fly. Once you understand the true nature of heroism, you will fly. But first, I must teach you the secret to becoming a superhero. Hey, Storm, you look like you're putting on a little weight. So, Professor, uh, about this secret. Well, you see... Xavier! Oh, shit. Well, you want to explain why I found her hiding in your closet? But, Pumpkin, I don't see nobody. Oh, you don't? Invisible girl? Apparently not invisible enough. Well, if you knew how to take care of your man, maybe this wouldn't have happened. No, she didn't. Oh, this bitch is crazy. I'm gonna have to whip your ass. You don't say no what disrespect. Oh, 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 shit. I'm not ever Whoa, whoa. Oh. Ow. <laughs> so you yeah. 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 Now what? Now how about that, invisible bitch? Yeah, whatever. I'm out of here. I'm sure gonna miss her. She was crazy in the sack. Biting, scratching, panting, tongue all over the place. Wasn't me, asshole. Come on, Spanky. I didn't even know she had a dog. Still some of the best sex I ever had. How could you do this to me? To your kids! To your newborn baby! How do I know that baby's even mine? Because he can do this. Shit! Oh, man. I'm never going to know the secret of becoming a superhero. You want to know the secret? Come close. Oh! Make a costume, shithead! I swear to God, they get dumber and dumber every year. A costume?
uh Oh my god. Damn! Oh do you like a real superhero, man? <laughs> I love the mask. How you breathe in it though? What's that sound? You put some kind of air intake in the mask. Boy, you better. Now, I'm assuming that the material is see-through, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm going to tell you something, Rick. This is good. I'm impressed. Like, really impressed. Hey, that's my spot. You're sitting on my gargoyle. Move it. Excuse me? What are you even doing here? I'm looking seriously out over the city. In a squatting position. Well, that's what I do here. So if you're not moving, I guess we're gonna have to share. Uh, okay, fine. Um, I actually usually perch in the front, so... Oh, maybe all right, well, here, yeah. you gotta go around. Oh, okay, wait, no, just turn this way. Wait, here, here we go. Oh, Dude! Oh, you're right, I'm sorry. Relax! Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, I can't perch like this. Yeah, me neither. What's your name? John Storm. Dragonfly. So what's your power? What's my power? Stand back. Flame on! Whoa! <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm on fire! Get a blanket or something! Holy shit! Not working! Get the fire extinguisher! <laughs> oh, no! God, you idiot! Stop! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Rick, once you understand the true nature of heroism, you will fly. Oh, shit. Hmm. Dragonfly. He's not even a hero. He's not. A, I have. I have. I have just. Uh, I've, <laughs> he can't. He can't even fly. <laughs> the dragonfly can't even fly. <laughs> I can fly. Okay. I can fly. This just in: Tom Cruise is dead. World's most powerful man. I have a feeling you might disagree with that. No? <clears throat> Strom, do you have my test results? Yes, sir. Whatever you're doing to your victims rejuvenates you, but only for 24 hours. Hmm. What if I killed 28 people in one session? Would that give me a month to live? If it were February, yes. But only if your cells could absorb that much energy at once, and they can't. I'm afraid you have to kill each day to live each day. Still a slave to the tyranny of time. There must be some answer. There isn't. Unless... Unless you had some ceruleum. Then you could create a device powerful enough to draw the life force out of thousands of people and enhance your own cellular capacity. Strom, you're a genius. Wikipedia. But that's not important. What is important is that you don't have any ceruleum. Besides, it's immoral. We don't do that sort of thing. We're a pharmaceutical company. Wait a minute. Take a look. Hawking's lab is in the physics building. I could just walk right in. You're going to steal Cerulean? No. Not me. I'm a law-abiding citizen. But perhaps there's someone inside me. Someone unfettered by the rule of law. Someone who will, at any cost, survive! <laughs> oh, oh, glass in my eye. Glass in my eye. Does it hurt? Uh, yeah, it hurts. Well, if you could... 
spread spread them with your fingers. Push your lids with your fingers. Two 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 fingers. Are your fingers clean? That's it. And and roll your eyeball around. Roll I, it and I, then, then I'm push it. I'm rolling it. Kick it out with another piece of glass. Are you freaking insane? I'll get the tweezers. Read about the dragonfly, world's greatest hero. Right here. Right here. Yep. Read all about it. Listen to me. I want that story on my desk or you're fired. Who the hell are you? I, I was wondering if you had a job opening for a... Job? How dare you come in here and ask me for a job? I'm the editor-in-chief. I know the mayor of Venus. Hamburgers can see the future. Rosie Sorry O'Donnelly. about this. We share the building with a mental hospital. Bad news, boss. We're nowhere on those dragonfly photos. Damn, those were tomorrow's lead. What about these? Wow. It's almost like you're the dragonfly. Uh, no, no, no. See? Look. Now that's photography. Just heard on the scanner. Some kind of police standoff at Empire University. We'll need photos. Kid, I want you to... Where'd he go? Chief of Police, we have the building surrounded. Come out with your hands up. What the hell is that? I am the hourglass, and your time is up. It's over, Hourglass. No, Dragonfly. <laughs> it's just begun! <laughs> it's useless to resist! I'll fight you to my last breath! Like the sands of time! I am unceasing and relentless! Evil never triumphs, Hourglass! You'll pay for your crimes and justice will be... Stop! 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 Are you okay? No. Titanium blades. They cut through diamonds. I'm not wearing any diamonds. Ow! Ow! I wish I could stay longer, Dragonfly, but I just don't have the time. Whoever this Dragonfly is, he's in over his head. We don't need so-called superheroes. What Empire City needs is more cops. And a Hooters. Titanium blades. Looks like someone found your weakness. It's not my weakness. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Your weakness is that you can't fly. Maybe if you had a partner... I don't need help. I'm fine all by myself. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? What? Oh, oh no, I... I mean, she's with someone else. Well, maybe that's for the best. After all, it could be dangerous. You know, being the girlfriend of the dragonfly. I don't know what to do, Aunt Lucille. I love her. So be it. But remember, to get to you, your enemies will attack the people you care for the most. Be careful not to hurt the ones you love. And uh, shave your pubes. No one wants to go down on a tumbleweed. Jill! Rick? I heard you were auditioning for a part, so... Oh, the p 
beautiful. God, you are so supportive. Why can't Lance be more like you? There's something you're not telling me, isn't there? Something secret. Something locked away deep inside. It was summer camp. We had to share a shower. You trip and fall with your mouth open on one guy's... No. I mean... In here. Well... There is... Keep your identity a secret, Rick. 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 Dude, you're like a real superhero, man! Man! man. Once a month, you'll bleed from your vagina. 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 I... Nothing. Nothing. Well, I should go. You're a good friend. Eight cents. So, come on. Oh, shit. Thank you. Looks like you're planning a mass murder. Would you like help? Happy that you and your boyfriend are spending Thanksgiving with us. Of course, Lucille. You need support at a time like this. Yes, I miss seeing my Albert each morning. You know, 50 years of marriage creates quite a bond. I wish I knew love like that. Oh, you will, dear. You just have to follow your heart. That's the thing. I don't know if I can. Oh, Jill, if you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? I know. But what if my heart is telling me to be with someone I can't be with? It's not just any guy, it's just... Forget it. You'll think I'm crazy. No, of course not. You can tell me anything. I'm very good at keeping secrets. Well, you'll think it's ridiculous, but... It's the dr... I'll get it. 
Hey, babe. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I kind of invited my uncle. Your uncle? What? Set another plate. Well, okay, I guess. Miss Johnson, please excuse my nephew's poor manners. Oh, thank you. Miss Adams, I'm Lou Landers. I hope this isn't too much of an imposition. Oh, of course not. There's always room for one more. Well, thank you. It's just Thanksgiving's for family. Lance is the only family I have. I never married. For cake? No, just never met the right woman. Ah, yes, Lance told me that Rick Riker was your neighbor. Where is Rick? Well, that's odd. I thought he was out. I'll go check on him. Oh, please, you're busy. Allow me. Thank you. Upstairs, second door to the right. Sorry I'm late. Oh, Mr. Landers. Rick? No, you're just on time. Now, everybody take your seat. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Not till we say grace. Jesus! Amen. Amen. Please start, everyone. This all looks so delicious, Lucille. Well, we have Rick to thank for it. Ever since Albert... Rick has been supporting me with his new job. New job? You didn't tell me. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sort of the Dragonfly's unofficial photographer. What happened to your arm? Uh, a bike messenger knocked me down. I see your wrist is bandaged. Yes, I burned it on some hot coffee. And you have a cut on your lip. Uh, my crack pipe broke. You have a scratch on your neck. Yes, I met a girl on Craigslist. And you have a bruise on your neck. I met a guy on Craigslist. I'm sorry, Lance. We have to go. Why? I shot my pants. I'll drive. Thanks for helping clean up. Of course. Poor thing's so tired. <laughs> yeah, well, you know old folks after a big meal. So, you know the dragonfly? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. You could sort of say we're close. Has he... Has he ever asked about me? Um... Yeah. Yeah, once. 
What did you tell him? Um, well, I said, I, I told him, I, I told him the thing about Jill is, when you look in her eyes and she looks back in yours, you... <laughs> you know that you'd do anything, anything to be a better person than you are, so that... If you were ever lucky enough to be with her, you could earn every second of her perfect... <laughs> Grace and her her limitless beauty. And her unending love. Don't cry. I'm not. My eyes are burning. Rick, I want you to know that was the most beautiful thing anyone's ever said to me. Scented candle? Thank you. Oh, Rick, I'm so confused. And yet... Uh. I know exactly what I want. Uh. Sorry to drop in. Uninvited. It's okay, we were hoping someone would open a window. It was getting stuffy in here. So, this is the lair of the dragonfly. How did you... No, no, no. I'm not here to fight you. I've got thousands of other people I plan to kill. This little visit is just to show you who will get hurt if you get in my way. Never! <laughs> Empire City was badly injured. How was she injured? Badly. What about the dragonfly? All I can tell you is this. He didn't save anyone tonight. Doctor, how is she? I'm afraid your aunt's taken a turn for the worse. She can't speak, she can't walk, she has no control over her bowels. That's, that's awful. I know. I went ahead and set up a MySpace page for her under crazy shit machine. She already has 40 friends. Wait a minute, that's somebody else's aunt. Your aunt has no problem with her bowels. Oh, thank God. Because she's dead. Truly sorry, Rick, but there is a silver lining. Your uncle came out of his coma this morning. He did? Yes, but you, you mustn't tell him about your aunt just yet. He's in a delicate mental state. The slightest bit of bad news could send him spiraling right back into a coma. I understand. Mr. Adams, you have a visitor. Is it Lucille? No, sir, it's not your dead wife. It's your nephew, Rick. Remember, no bad news. Now, sir, here you go. This is my bill. You did surgery on me? Uh, yes, sir. We confused you with one of our sex change patients, but don't worry, we didn't remove your penis. We did cut your testicles off, but, well, uh, since your wife's dead, you won't be needing them anyway. You just want to keep his spirits up. He'll land on his feet in no time. We are gathered today to say goodbye to Lucille Adams. Goodbye! And now, the eulogy. It's tragic to think this is the last time that I can look upon my wife's face. God! Lucille! How, how could you take her from me? I can't live without her! Ah! Lucille! Stucky Lump! Sorry, there's been a terrible mistake. This is your wife! Ah! She is this man's wife! Give me five minutes. You're one lucky guy. Now, where's Lucille? Ah, Lucille. Uh. I do have this coupon for a cremation. Rick, I 
am so sorry for your loss. What is it? I know I said some things, but now more than ever, I realize we can never be together. I don't believe you. You love me, Rick. I know you do. Jill, trust me. I'm telling you this for your own good. I, I don't love you. You're no longer in my five. Two strokes this time. And the back nine is what killed. Oh my God. Look at this place. Yo, what are you doing, man? You gotta pull yourself together, dude. What's the point? <laughs> Look at you. Eating junk food. Wearing fake beards. And we found your costume in the garbage outside. Yeah, well, I'm not the dragonfly anymore. But you said the hourglass was going to kill thousands of people. Look, I told you, I'm no hero. All right, Aunt Lucille's dead. I rejected the only girl I've ever loved, and I, mean, I can't even fly. God, I wish I'd never been bitten by that stupid dragonfly. And maybe your father shouldn't have given you this after all. Look at the words your ancestors inscribed on that ring. Honor, valor, sacrifice, duty, commitment, bravery, justice, integrity. Brotherhood, self-esteem, low prices, affordable housing, loose-fitting pants, cheap internet porn. The rest is in Latin. Rick, the hero's path is dangerous. You may fail or you may fly. All that matters is that you do it for the best of reasons. Helping others, Rick. That's what makes you a real hero. Maybe you're right. Even if I wanted to stop the hourglass, I wouldn't know where to start. I, I mean, where's he gonna find thousands of people in one place? Look. Reporting here live from the Empire City Convention Center, where thousands of people are in one place. But none of them more important than the attendees of the World Humanity Awards. I'll drive. <laughs> well, that shortcut to the playground sure saved us some time. You go ahead. I'll find a place to park. Mister, please stop! Each year, the World Humanity Awards are held to honor the greatest achievements on behalf of all humanity. This gala event is expected to draw the world's most prestigious leaders to Empire City. Excuse us. Excuse Empire us. City time. Excuse us. Damn! Look, they're gonna push Charles. And Nelson Mandela. Nelson! Hey, I was in jail too, man. One of the guests here is the hourglass. But which one? Thank you so much for inviting us, Mr. Landers. Well, when you're being honored by the world, you want your family with you. Perhaps one day, you could be part of our family too. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, our first award 
is for the medical breakthrough of the year, for his company's pioneering work in the field of feminine hygiene, I award Newlanders Douchebag of the Year. Stop right there, Landers. Mr. Riker. So, you know. You're damn right I do. Someone in this auditorium is the hourglass. I need your help to figure out who it is. Now, the hourglass can be anyone. A guest of honor. Maybe even a stagehand. This may be nothing, but I did see a man with what looked like a canister of ceruleum. Who? This year's Lifetime Him. Achievement in Humanity Award goes to one of the world's greatest souls, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. This man isn't who you think he is. He's the hourglass. No, no, I'm a man of peace. Shut up! You're plotting to kill all these people, and I can prove it. Show the world the armor you're hiding under these robes. You can't fool me, Hourglass. You're packing ten pounds of ceruleum under there. What? what? Take him down! Tutu! You. You're the hourglass. It's a pity you saw that, my dear. Perhaps this will help you forget. <laughs> for people who like to dress up as their favorite heroes and villains. By the way, your costume sucks. Out of my way! Excuse me, there is a line. No, you're killing them all wrong. It's like this. Better. Oh, shit. Forget it, Dragonfly! You're too late! <laughs> Run! Yeah. Goodbye, little fly. Oh. 
So, are you gonna keep the body, or...? Dragonfly, you must stop the hourglass. I can't. I can't fly. If there is one lesson my life can teach, it is that the spirit is stronger than the body. The hero comes from within. Those are Celine Dion lyrics. Whatever. It's still true. You're right! Watch, Dragonfly, as your city dies! <laughs> I'd let anything happen to the girl I love, did you? Well, we're still falling. Damn! Oh, if only I could fly. Maybe I wasn't cut out to be a hero. You know, maybe I was meant to have a normal job, an accountant, a gym teacher. <laughs> this is a really tall building. Rick, I don't care what happens anymore. If I die, I die happily in your arms. You're my hero, Rick Riker, and I love you. Yes! Oh, thank God! We only have 50 stories left! Hang on! Thank you, Dragonfly. Because of you, our city is safe at last. You said it, Dr. Hawkins. Yeah. Well, it's a happy ending for us all! Let's go get some dinner. I'm buying. Who am I? I'm Rick Riker. I'm the Dragonfly. And as long as there's crime and injustice, I will forever be a superhero. <laughs> 